Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name's Diane, this is Nige. We're just starting our second van build. This time we have gone for a Peugeot Boxer. Uh, it's an ex-Scottish ambulance and we thought it would be a slightly easier job to convert but actually it's working out quite a bit harder. We have now stripped everything out of it because its insulation just wasn't adequate and we're starting from scratch. So we're just going to show you around what we've done at the moment and how we're back to basics. So we've got some wires still left in the van and as you can see we're back to the main carcass of the van. So we're just going to work through the next couple of videos and show you how we insulate and then fully convert our van. I think it's also worth saying that this is our second conversion as Diane mentioned earlier on. Uh, we've already converted a XRAF minibus uh, for transit and we've been using that for about 18 months. Uh, just getting out pretty much every weekend that we can. We live in the north of England, so we've got a lot of a lot of great spots on our doorstep. Um, and one of the frustrations that we've had with the first van is that our our seats and our beds are the you know you've got to fold them up, fold them down every time you want to use them. Um, with this bigger van, we hope to build a fixed bed, um, which will overcome that uh, problem. Although in your head you tend to think that it's going to be okay, it's not going to be a problem, actually. Um, when you're getting up on a cold wet morning and you've got to get out to fold those beds up and down before you can actually start the rest of your day it does become a bit frustrating so uh, the main uh, the main game for us is to build a fixed bed and um, and then we'll uh, we'll guide you through our processes that we've uh, that we're going to do with that as well uh, just to let you see the other side of the van we actually had uh fully fitted metal um, bulkhead here which we took out. We want to keep um, obviously the two captain's seats and we want to be able to walk through into our van this time as well. So we had a full steel structure which was down here which we've taken out of it. We also had steel structure at the um, top shelf here which we've taken out to get our weight down on the van as well. Um, our Genesis panels were on the other side of the bulkhead. We actually had no problems taking our Genesis panels out. There was loads of wires, but everything seemed to have been disconnected when we got it. So we actually just pulled all the wires out. Um, as you can see, we still got some up here. We didn't have a heater in the van that had all gone. Obviously blue lights had all gone as well. Um, we did have an AC unit, but it wasn't working. So we've taken that out as well. So after reams of wires um, and starting the van all the time as well, just to make sure that all the van electrics were okay, the whole Genesis panel has gone. Um, we're not going to build a bulkhead here. As I say, we're going to have it as a walkthrough. 